Hello, my name is Graham DeBarra and I am the CEO of FESTI and the co-organizer of Providence Summit which is coming up in South Korea on the 20th of November. Here with me is one of the speakers of our prominent conference which is Demetrius from the EU Parliament. We're here in Brussels. Dimitri, nice to have you here. How are you? Thank you for having me here with you. Everything is great and we are doing very beautiful things here in the European Union regarding blockchain. Tell me about those things. I believe there's a resolution coming up. Can you describe this? This is true. Uh, we have a blockchain resolution to be voted in the plenary session of October. And uh, it's a huge step that uh, gives the place to the rest of the, of the jurisdictions on how to approach the beast. Practically, uh, we have uh, raised awareness to the members of the European Parliament about blockchain, saying that it's not a devil, a fraudulent thing. We created a framework that showed them that it has a strong potential to disrupt existing markets like energy, healthcare, uh, copyrights, etc. We described the framework that will allow, will allow a blockchain ecosystem to be uh, developed in Europe in a safe and legally certain environment. And we hope uh, European Union to be the global leader in the field of blockchain and artificial intelligence just like United States used to be a global leader in the era of internet. Brilliant. Uh, a big uh, reason for people getting into cryptocurrencies at the moment is as an alternative financial mechanism for funding and investment. Mm -hmm. How do you see the EU's approach will take to allow these investments be less risky? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in different jurisdictions and in different economic settings, ICO is welcome in a different way. Practically, uh, for Europe, it's a very instrumental vehicle of financing risky uh, startups like uh, 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 startups related to uh, blockchain uh, technology or artificial uh, intelligence application or Internet of Things application. The problem in continental Europe is that we do not have uh, a vibrant private equity and venture capital industry and the banking sector consider all those projects as unbankable. So suddenly uh, with ICOs we found an instrument that allows the mobilization of idle capital to risk projects. Uh, I think that the European Union is uh, more uh, uh, liberal in accepting this new instrument compared to the United States. Uh, we think that uh, a distinct approach to the United States which defines ICOs as securities uh, should be adopted. And uh, we now work on the crowdfunding resolution, regulation, sorry, which uh, is going to uh, provide basic definitions that will allow legal certain, a legal certain environment around this instrument and hopefully young uh, entrepreneurs uh, will be ready to use this instrument in a homogeneous environment within the European Union. Well, it's a fascinating approach. Uh, your vote is coming up on the first Wednesday of October, so good luck with that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. We have a number of jurisdictions, including South Korea, Jeju Island, Switzerland, and now European Union are putting their, their hat in the ring, and it's going to be interesting to see how, how this unfolds. So if you'd like to see more about the uh, regulations and how they develop, please come by uh, South Korea, uh, Seoul, on November 20th, and come meet Dimitris in person. Thanks very much. Thank you, Dimitris. Thank you.